How you doing? This is Kendall Marshall, North Carolina basketball director of recruiting. Since you all can't visit campus, we wanted to bring campus to you and show you a little bit of our facilities and let you see what our home looks like. So uh, if you look right here, you have the Dean Smith Center. This is where we play 22,000 every single night rocking. And I also want to show you right across the street is where our freshmen and sophomores live in uh, Rams Village. So it's a very easy commute getting from the dorm to the gym, gym home after games and practices and uh, just uh, something that we think is really cool about living here. And also we have the ACC building as well. Um, every ACC school now has their own uh, building to show all ACC games across the country. And uh, now I'm gonna take you down Letterman's, Letterman's Lane. And uh, Letterman's Lane was a donation by Vince Carter. He uh, redid this entire walkway. And um, if you look, you see the, uh, the blue vertical signs we have. And uh, every UNC basketball player, every walk-on, every manager, every coach uh, has their name listed on here. And that was um, Vince Carter's gift to us. And we, we take a lot of pride in this. We're very thankful for that. Very thankful for all of our alums. So uh, just gonna walk you down here and uh, take you to Coach Rob and he'll take you through our coaches lounge. You can see right here, uh, dedicated to Vince Carter. My favorite pitcher on here. See, uh, when he jumped over the seven footer, the USA team, but uh, Vince Carter, love Vince. Welcome to the Carolina basketball offices. What you'll see here is the place where all of our uh, coaches, offices, and all of the different things that uh, we have going on with the basketball office. If you notice here is a picture of the court. Uh, we named the court after Coach Williams and all of the former players who have played at North Carolina have their names on the court as well. Thought that's a pretty neat thing to be able to do. Come on in, let's go to the basketball offices. And here is our lobby in the entranceway to the basketball office. And if you notice, we have all of our national championship uh, rings, as well as the uh, markers of the Final Fours uh, where we participated in. So it's pretty neat that you can look out and see all of Final Four from 1924 all the way until 2017. And you, you definitely have to check out the hardware that goes with winning a national championship. As we venture down here to the Final Four box that shows a lot of the, uh, the hardware from winning the national championship, you can see the different years that we won and the hardware that goes with it, along with the rings. Some great photo shots, action shots. Coach Williams, Coach Smith, Justin Jackson, Ty Lawson, Raymond Felton, to name a few. Uh, you can go all the way up to the top, Danny Green, Tyler Hansberg, Michael George hoisting up uh, shots and trophies. That's what we're about here. Come on back. Let's go check out our offices. And here you get a chance to see one of my favorite photos and quotes, uh, Kobe White talking about his relationship with Coach Williams and what it's meant to him, uh, why he was here, and how a coach has continued to impact his life. You go down to the coach's offices, Sean May's office here, and welcome. Let's come on, take a sneak peek into my office. And you'll notice here that player development. On this wall, every one of these kids got drafted in the NBA. They played for Coach Williams either at Kansas or here at North Carolina. And you can also notice the fact that at the bottom, we have three pitchers at the 2005 National Championship team, the 2009 National Championship team, and the 2017 National Championship team. And if you look at this wall here, at 17 years of magazine covers that I've been able to collect uh, that has different players from different time periods that played here at North Carolina. Some of our NBA jerseys, it's forever changing with our guys. We kind of put them up based on who's in town sometime. Uh, one of Coach Hubert Davis's office here, national championship team. No greater feeling than to be on the stage, be the last team standing uh, when you win a national championship. And, uh, that's a great, great feeling. And 
Here you have to my left uh, all the guys that uh, uh, on the front row in the jerseys, in the rafters. Coach Brad Frederick's office to the right. And if you like to eat food and like to grill and cook out, we got it right here. We can grill and cook out, have a lunch, have a dinner, have a breakfast, watch a little television, have a staff meeting, do the whole thing. And then we'll take you to the big man's office. And here is Coach Williamson's office. And you have to understand that he's coached some great, great players. He's coached guys like Paul Pierce. He's coached guys like Sean May. He's coached guys that uh, uh, here in North Carolina that have been super fantastic. And I think that uh, he can explain a lot more about some of the pitchers and the players, uh, Kendall Marshall, the Tyler Hasbro uh, that he's coached and uh, been a part of their life and continues to be a part of their life. Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, my name is Eric Hoots. I'm Director of Player Development here at the University of North Carolina. I've been on coaching staff entering my 17th year. I'm an 04 grad in North Carolina. I'm um, happy to show you guys part of the Smith Center today. Uh, if you come out of the back of the office here, um, we're very fortunate, as I'm sure that you've probably heard, that the Smith Center is our facility, only men's basketball here. And as you exit our offices, we've walked down this hallway to head downstairs. And as you walk down the hallway, you see all of our players that have played professionally, that are still currently playing professionally, uh, in the NBA, uh, we, it is a tough task to keep up with the appropriate jersey based on what team due to trades and free agency, but uh, all of our guys are highlighted, obviously. Uh, Danny Green with the Lakers right now, and then Marvin Williams um, entering his 16th season playing. He just got traded to the Bucks, playing with the Bucks now, and a neat story about Marvin. Uh, Marvin was a one and done. He was number two pick in the NBA draft in 05 after he won the national championship, and Marvin came back 10 consecutive summers to get his degree uh, after he was still uh, continuing to play in the NBA. So he's, it's a great story. Uh, it's a young big May right there. Um, and these are some of our, our former guys. And one of, the, one of the best things about coming to the University of North Carolina and being a part of this family that we have here in Chapel Hill is that our former players come back in the summertime to train and play pickup with you guys. And I think it's great for when our former guys come back that you guys get to play against unbelievable talent. So that is something special here at the University of North Carolina that happens every summer. And then here on the, uh, this wall right before we go down is pictures from our national championships. Obviously you've got Wayne Ellington represented from 09, uh, Frank McGuire 1957, Michael Jordan 82 with the tongue out, uh, Coach Williams, and then this is Nate Britt, Theo Pinson, Isaiah Hicks from 2017, and then Jawad Williams, Donald Williams, and Coach Smith from 05 and 93. So. We're gonna head downstairs to the players area. These pictures, this is a representation from our most recent national championship in 2017. That's every player that was on that team. And as you come down this step, this is kind of a bittersweet picture for me personally. This is in the locker room after the game. Uh, I missed that picture because I ran back out to the court to take a picture with my wife and kids. But I do have a great picture from that, but I do wish I was in that picture. Let's take a look in the locker room. As soon as you come in, they have uh, Coach Bill Guthridge locker room up here on the wall. And this is just really special to me because Coach Guthridge was one of my assistant coaches at North Carolina. He was an unbelievable coach, longtime assistant to Coach Dean Smith. He taught me more about life than he did about basketball. He's one of my best friends. And so when you walk into the locker room and you see Coach Guthridge, I absolutely love, he was the best. All right, come on in. First thing I'm gonna show you is the lounge area, and this is basically where the guys do life. They do homework here, eat here, sleep here. But right over here you see a kitchen area where guys can heat up food, they can make shakes and get snacks before and after practice. The guys love playing games in here. Here's a popping shot. One of the favorite things that the guys like to do is to play ping pong, but this can also be converted into a pool table. You can see um, the couches. As I said before, one of the things that our guys love to do, <laughs> they love to take naps. So you got five long, comfortable couches uh, that the guys can take naps. They play video games here, watch movies, a lot of space, very comfortable in here. I've been in a number of NBA locker rooms and this is exactly uh, 
what one looks like. And so when you see up on the uh, wall, you have different uh, players up here, which is really cool. Justin Jackson, who I coach, Kendall Marshall, who is on staff. You see Sean May in the 2000s, uh, he's on staff as well. Showing a couple guys here in the 1980s. And the thing that I like the most is they have me in the 90s. I played here in 1988 through 92. Sometimes they put me in the 80s, sometimes they put me in the 90s. I love that they put me here because it makes me feel a lot younger than I really am. All right, come on in. Let's go into the uh, film room. This is where Coach Williams addresses the team and this is where we do scouting report to get ready for an upcoming game. And this is a great film room, but the most important thing and the best thing for me is this board right here. This has been a staple of Carolina basketball since even before I came in here. And one of the things that we do as a coaching staff is after the game, we grade every play on both ends of the floor. And we have every player grade out defensively, block shots, charges. And what we feel like is if we have a number of players that grade out in these particular areas, that we're gonna put ourselves in a great position to win games. So yes, the traditional stat sheet is really important. How many field goals, rebounds, different stuff like that. But if we feel that we have a number of guys that do th these things really well, we feel like we're gonna be very successful. All right, leaving the film room, let's just go into the locker room. The really cool thing about this is as soon as you walk in, you've got two big pictures of great players in Carolina history. Marcus Page, who I ended up coaching, he's right here. Then Marvin Williams, um, who was on the 2005 National Championship team. This is where Coach Williams stands and addresses the team. And what you can, you can notice is there's just a lot of room, a lot of space for the guys, for their personal items in their locker room. But it's really cool because this is where our team really builds team chemistry. They just have a lot of fun in here and it's, uh, it's fun spending time with them here in the locker room. As I said before, these lockers, I mean, they give the guys a lot of space to put all their personal items. You can see the practice gear. This is actually neater than most lockers. They have uh, their coat and tie. When we go on the road, we look professional. We always wear a sports coat and a tie. Jordan gear all over the place. So you've got Jordans for the games, you've got Jordans for the practice, and you've got Jordans to walk around to campus when you go into class. Anything that you want, anything that you need is right here at UNC. What's going on? I'm Sean May, Director of Basketball Operations here. I'll give you guys a little tour of our players' locker room um, in their bathrooms. Uh, we wanted, when we designed this place, to make sure we had uh, the big showers for all of our guys. Um, so all, the, all of our guys have individual showers. One of the things uh, that we love about uh, North Carolina is we don't share. So we, this is the only locker room our players use. Um, it's for them, it was built for them. Um, we, we want them to take a lot of pride in taking care of their bodies. So we got the hydro room with the hot and cold tubs. Um, they have 24 hour access with the hand scan. So they're able to come in, get in the hot and cold tubs, uh, spend as much time in here, take care of their body, recover well, uh, so they can get out on the court and play well. Here we are in the back hallway. Uh, this is the equipment room. It's where all our guys get their gear from Shane Parrish, uh, best equipment manager in the country. Our guys, every day they come in, they come down the elevator, come in the back hallway, they all have a locker where they pick up their stuff uh, and get ready for practice and it's also where they turn it in and get ready for the next day. Let's go to the practice gym. Here we are at our practice facility. Uh, it's one of the cool things about Chapel Hills. We don't really share our building with anybody. So we've got the main court that is mainly for our, our current players. Uh, we really build a practice gym uh, solely for our pros. So they always have an opportunity, a place that they can work on their craft and get better each and every day. Here you are in the practice gym, and this is, uh, you know, like we said, a facility just for our pros, all of our main guys that come back, and uh, we want this place to be like home for them. It's a place where they can always come back to. Uh, they'll always have a gym ready to work. 
Now I'm gonna uh, show you the weight room. This is, uh, again, like Sean said about the practice gym, the weight room is only for us. This is where our guys come to get better. Uh, off season, we live four times a week. In season, we live twice a week, 35 minutes before practice always. Um, we try to tell them not to come in here without Jonas Ration, our uh, strength coach, um, unless they're gonna be foam rolling, uh, getting little recovery things done. But outside of that, uh, Jonas does a great job of training them. He's been with Coach for over 15 years now. Uh, he's also worked in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls, so uh, we all have a lot of trust in him. Now for the thing that most people love about coming to our campus. Uh, this is our shoe wall, you know, featured of um, all the Jordans that Jordan brand has given us. Um, some of them were special creations that were given to our team. Every year we get a retro made. Uh, for instance, this is the Jordan 2 from about four years ago. Um, I believe this is the 31, maybe? And then uh, the Jordan 4. And uh, this is obviously one of our favorites when you get the Argyle. Uh, you also get that Tar Heel print right on the tongue. Our guys really enjoyed that. Marcus Page, his senior night, uh, wore those in game. That was a really special night. And um, also these are a special shoe as well. Um, it doesn't fit up here with all the basketball shoes, but uh, it's a, a golf shoe that Michael Jordan has specifically made for Coach. 32 pair uh, only exists for Coach Williams. So um, yeah, this is our shoe wall. This is something we take a lot of pride in and uh, recruits usually enjoy. So uh, let's take a walk into the training room. Uh, in the training room, coming here to work with uh, Doug Halverson. Uh, we have five tables. This is where we get taped. And um, we try to say that we use this area more for prevention rather than treatment. You know, we want to prevent injuries and keep you on the court, opposed to um, treating you after you roll an ankle or hurt knees and things of that nature. So we have everything in here from uh, game readies to Normatex and uh, you know, your stretch bands and stuff like that. So uh, uh, we think we have a, a high quality staff when it comes to our fitness levels and make sure everybody's ready to play on game days and practice. Hey guys, Brad Frederick here to show you the rest of the varsity hallway. So this right here is the entrance into the player's locker room. Uh, the motto, one of the main mottos for Carolina basketball started by Coach Smith and then added on by Coach Williams is play hard, play smart, play together. Whenever we have a huddle breakdown, uh, that's what we say. So we thought that a great place to put it was a prominent place as you enter here into the, into the locker room. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you down the rest of varsity hallway. Uh, when we redid the, the locker room in 2016 area, one of the difficult decisions we had was who to put up on the wall. Obviously, Carolina, we have so many great players. So what we decided to do is go with the six living national players of the year. Uh, so you see James Worthy right here, uh, Tyler Hansborough, and um, as we go down the hall, you'll see, but just amazing accomplishments. Tyler was the player of the decade. Uh, obviously, James Worthy, one of the uh, top 50 players in NBA history. Um, as you come on down, of course, the most famous Tar Heel, Michael Jordan. Uh, we, uh, we worked hard to get this picture of him with the six rings, thought that was a great shot. Uh, so we, we love that photo right there. As the players come down the stairwell into the, into the uh, varsity hallway, one of the first things we wanted them to see was this 2017 shot. Uh, this was the dunk that Justin Jackson had that kind of sealed our national championship win. Uh, and one of the neat things about this shot is seeing all the reactions uh, of the players and their families right behind the bench. Uh, and also, not a great shot, but you can see Coach Rob here. For some reason, he's still got a bad look on his face. So we always enjoy that. But obviously, when you come to Carolina, we want you to have the chance to play for a national championship. And so this is what it's all about right here. This right here, we designed, this is for team accomplishments. This is what we call our numerology wall. Um, and the cool thing about it is these are magnets. So as we win, as we go to more Final Fours, as we uh, play for more national championships, win more national championships, we can take these uh, magnets off. So obviously Carolina, uh, the most number of Final Four appearances, 27 national championships. Uh, an incredible number, 36 Sweet 16s, the most number of regular season ACC titles. So we're really proud of this wall, obviously, with the amount of success we've had as a Carolina program. This is our individual numerology wall, and uh, so these se celebrate individual accomplishments. Probably the neatest thing about this is the first round draft picks. 
Uh, anytime we have a guy that's a first round draft pick, we allow him to come back. Uh, so these are magnets too. Uh, but you can see we're, we're kind of running out of real estate here. So we're gonna have to go ahead and take this middle part out here soon. But hopefully we keep bringing guys like you in, have a chance to put yourself on the wall as a first round draft pick. So this is just a uniform wall. I have give you guys an idea of some of the different uniforms we've worn over the years. Really cool uniform right here is the one that Carolina team wore in 2011 when they played Michigan State on uh, the aircraft carrier game. The President Obama was there, so you see the camouflage in the uniform there. One of my personal favorite uniforms, uh, we wore this in, in Brooklyn against UCLA, is the black uniform. Uh, if you are really a great player, maybe you can ask Coach Williams if we can wear the black again. He's, he's not a big fan of the black uniforms, but I really like those. And of course, our traditional home white, uh, voted the number one uniform in college basketball. Obviously, love the Argyle trim that goes down the side. Hey guys, everybody. I'm Roy Williams, needless to say. I'd like to take you on a little tour as we enter the Smith Center right here. This tunnel on game night has been described as the greatest 40 foot jog you've ever had. You're coming through this tunnel and you see the opening here and then you see and hear the crowd. And as you come here, you even see the video board and you see the cameras on you as you're running out. You come out here into the Smith Center. Number one, you gotta love the color blue. There's no question about that. Sometimes I've come out here by myself during different points of the year, in the summer, spring, or fall. I'll never forget coming out here my first year, 17 years ago, and standing at the center line and looking up and hoping, hoping that one day I could add a banner up there on that end. Fortunately, we've been able to put three banners up there. And standing at the center circle, looking around, knowing that 21,750 people are going to be in here screaming for the Tar Heels. I got cold chills. To this day, when I come through that tunnel on game night, I get excited. When I come through that tunnel on game night, I, the team's already out here. I don't come out when they come out. I come out two or three minutes later. But just the enormous crowd and their spirit, the enthusiasm coming out to play here, the day that I stop having those chills, then I'll know I've done it too long. Come on with me over here. We do believe in banners. We do believe in recognizing our success. And another thing I want you to think about is the possibility of having your banner in the rafters with your name on it, your jersey number and your name. That means you've been tremendously successful. We get enough guys getting their jerseys up there, we'll have more jerseys up there that says national champions. Playing at North Carolina, playing here at the Smith Center, it doesn't get any better than that. Come on and join us. Thank you very much.